In this video, we are going to explore a few of the more common date functions. Now, a function is a preset formula that tells the spreadsheet what calculation to perform. And today, we want to explore what are the more common functions that are related to dates. So, what does that mean? Well, let's take a look at this example. Here, this is a now function. And what that will deliver, what that will return, is the computer system's date and time as of now. So, when you, whenever you write a function, you must begin with an equal sign followed by the name of the function. Now, the now function does not require any arguments, which means you can leave the parens empty. So, you can start with an open paren, close paren, click enter, and that will deliver you a result, which will match what the computer system states. The today function operates very similarly to the now function. If you simply write in today followed by the equal sign with two parens, we should get the computer system's date as of today. So the now and today function as a quick summary provides you with the computer system's date and time as of now, as of today, and these functions do not require arguments. Let's take a look at another set of date functions. As a reminder, here's the now function. Here are month, day, hour, minute, and second functions. Now, these all require an argument, the argument being the referenced date. So in this case, if we type in month, and we reference cell B15, which is today, the time, the date, as of now, if we put in the close paren, we should expect 11, because we are in the month of November. If we do the same thing for day, what would you expect? The 18th. As after all, today is November 18th. If you put in the hour, you should expect the 9 to be returned. And without any surprise, the minute and the second should correspond exactly with what you have referenced. Now, keep in mind, this reference number of B15 can be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be now. It could be a future date. So for instance, if we set a date of June 30th, 2013, and if we change the reference to C15, we should expect a month of June. Finally, let's take a look at one last common date function, which is EO month, which stands for end of month. This requires two arguments, the start date, which is the date that you're going to reference, followed by the number of months following that start date. So for instance, what this function will return, let's say we have today's date, which as we mentioned before, is November 18th. The end of month function, referencing November 18th, assuming that we stay in the same month, so the number of months following that would be zero, should deliver and will return the end of this month. Now, if we want to show what is the end of month for this particular date, five months ahead of time, April 30th. So what this function will give us is the end of the month based on a reference date with a specified number of months out, out of the start date. Great, so this gives you a brief overview of a few of the more common date functions. If you'd like to take a look at a cheat sheet, which goes through all that we've gone through in depth, please take a look at our, sp at our website at www.spreadsheetsolving.com. Thanks so much for listening.